Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Ace, and I'm back with another reaction video. Here we go. All right, so today I am going to be reacting to I Want to Know What Love Is by Foreigner. Now, according to Wikipedia, this song is from their fifth album called Agent Provocateur. It was released as the album's first single. It was released in 1984. So, yeah, let's get into it and see what this is going to be about. Take a little time, a little time to think things over. I better read between the lines in case I need it when I'm older. All right, let's pause for a minute. All right, so the melody is pleasant and it has a sort of this like 80s-esque instrumental with the synthesizers and the guitars playing off of each other. So, so far this is interesting. Let's keep going. Like love is fine
want to know what love is. Let me get into what I think the song is about. So the song is about a man who's been through it. He's been emotionally battered and bruised and wasn't sure if there's love for him out there in the world. Then he meets someone who makes him consider things could possibly get better. He's still wary and skeptical of where things are going, but he's at least hopeful. He wants to know what love is now and he wants her to show him. So the instrumental backing consists of these soft, tranquil, straightforward, unctuous synthesizers. And while those synthesizers are slightly overdone, they're oddly comforting as well. Meanwhile, it has this lethargic startup and painstakingly slow crescendo into that first chorus. You know, well-constructed but murmured verses. Up a few notes for the pre-chorus and then up a few more for the real thing. So lyrically, the song has a goofy majesty that's unshakable. There's an interesting contrast from the verses to the chorus that underscores the melodrama. Speaking of the chorus, it's definitely explosive. The singer has a pretty ordinary voice but seems firmly devoted to what he's singing. He also seems like he's very aware of that choir and he does his best to up his game with the belting and the ad-libs. I'm surprised by how soon the gospel choir emerges. Usually choirs come after the halfway mark but here they're on the first chorus even though they're not up on high yet. And when that choir does kick it up to level 10, you know you're being hypnotized. I generally don't mind gospel choirs adding to the vocals on sensitive records but I do think that this one was uh, maybe just a tad bit overpopulated like maybe they should have subtracted at least 10 voices from those chorus singers the video so the video seems slightly cinematic. There's a lot of slow motion sequences. Of course, the landline chord phones got my attention right away. The street scenes look very 80s from the people to the atmosphere. The ending scenes in the recording studio I thought were nice. The vibe seemed very genuine. I had to laugh when I saw the street handshake between one of the band and one of the choir members. Again, a very 80s moment, like something out of a sitcom from that time where after reaching the common ground, the street kid and the MOR business guy kind of do the brother shake. Meanwhile, the woman who showers and then runs down the street again in slow motion and ultimately finds her way to the recording studio and then hugs him at the end, I thought that bit was kind of awkwardly placed. It really didn't flow with the rest of what was going on in my opinion. So I would give the song a letter grade of a C plus. I want to know what love is goes for a big soulful soaring sound, but it feels deliberate and almost staged. The song is both everything to love and everything to hate about 80s MOR power ballads. The entire structure sounds calculated and painstakingly planned out. Like the songwriters made a checklist of showy ballad cliches and ensured that their song included like all of them in like this five minute bundle. It's got a hammy arrangement, schlocky lyrics and vocals that come off as quietly solemn and some spots in histrionic and others. The song wears this reversible vest that makes it melodramatic enough for a middle school dance, but earnest enough for a wedding reception. And the soul of it is validated by the carefully placed gospel choir, which by and large I think works well. So despite how painfully premeditated it is, a goal was set and it was executed. The song is utterly sincere and is complete and utter desire to be a power ballad. So behind the smoke screen of calculation and cynicism, it ultimately wins. It's not something that I would go out of my way to listen to again but it's one of those songs that i would probably accept it if i were to randomly hear it so i would give the video a letter grade of a b plus the feel of the video pretty much matches the tone of the song even though it doesn't explicitly tell the story of it furthermore i think it was wise to concentrate more on the choir than on the band we see these people working unspectacular day jobs coming off as very relatable the shot of the construction worker walking out on a skyscraper bar when a singer references mountains he must climb i think was a nice touch when they begin making their way to the bus where it's then revealed that they're all on their way to sing with foreigner i think was cool after a long arduous day of work these everyday folks get to enjoy themselves doing something pleasant the premise of that seemed very earnest the director managed to make the track visually compelling with a charmingly simple theme so the overall grade for everything is going to be a b i think the song is ipod worthy <laughs> Maybe a little bit. It's not something I would listen to on repeat, but again, it's one of those songs that, you know, if it just comes up, you'll listen to it, but it's not anything that I personally would seek out again. But, you know, it's one of those songs that, you know, if you are flipping channels and you run into it on the radio or if you're somewhere and it's playing overhead, it, it won't bother you. But if you sit there and you analyze it, then you have some stuff to kind of kind of critique but the overall grade for everything again is a b i definitely think that this song is ipod worthy but how do you feel about it how do you feel about foreigners i want to know what love is leave me some comments like and subscribe and until next time peace